leaves. In July was the Earth's hottest month on record, and of course, it has been a hot summer here. All right, and so we're bringing in Natasha right now to talk about this a little bit more. We know, Natasha, you've been great about giving us this interesting data about how we hit those record highs already this summer, but so many of us are wondering, is this a trend? Is it a precursor for us to see more situations with record heat? Yeah, I know. Now when we talk about heat waves, I think the first thought that comes to everybody's mind is, wait, are you talking about 116 degrees, or are you talking about... 100 degrees because your typical heat wave streak might be 102, 103, 104. But if you'll remember, in June, we saw our all time high broken three days in a row. But here's a look at the calendar from June. You see all those red boxes? That represents temperatures above normal. And on average, for the month of June, you might get about 14 days overall where the temperatures could be above normal. But we had more than that, certainly. So June goes down as the warmest June on record for Portland, and those records go back to 1940. Now, we're looking at some of the hottest days that we had, wiping out old, long-standing records. Remember, it was Saturday. We got up to 108 degrees. That was on the 26th, 112 the next day, and then topping all of those, 116 degrees under an extremely strong ridge of high pressure. So compare that to the last long-standing heat wave that we had. Everybody talks about the August 1981 heat streak because at that time, those were extreme temperatures and that was our old all-time high, 107 for Portland. But of course, those records have since been smashed. So moving ahead, will we see more extreme temperatures up to 116 degrees. Well, the odds are being stacked against us, unfortunately. I describe more of this in my article about the deadly heat wave from June. Go to coin.com forward slash climate dash corner to learn more.